Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and on this video, I'm going to share some pretty rare, very early Walt Disney World construction photos. So I do need your assistance in trying to identify a lot of these photos, so leave me a comment and let me know what you think some of the photos are from. Okay, first up, this photo is obviously a shot from the bend in the monorail between the Magic Kingdom and the Grand Floridian, where it exists now. The square patch of land is for the never-built Asian Resort and would be the future home of the Grand Floridian. This next shot is the U.S. Steel Fabrication Building that made all of the modular hotel rooms for the Contemporary, Polynesian, and eventually the Golf Resorts. It's located three miles from the hotels and is currently Buena Vista Construction. This next image is simply one of the canals. No idea where it's from. Here's a hauler taking away muck and dirt. I'm assuming it's from the creation of Seven Seas Lagoon. In this image, there's a fire that's burning in the background and it's a very large flat area. Could it be for the stall port? Or more likely, is it the large parking area outside of the Magic Kingdom? Not sure where this photo is, but it's a channel bridge of some sort. Could it be for one of the canals around the Magic Kingdom? Here's another shot, and it looks like it's part of a berm. And in this photo, it looks like it's for the walkway that leads from the castle to Tomorrowland, but I'm not really sure. Now, I am totally stumped on this one. Any thoughts? It actually looks like it's part of a space station. Here's a very early shot of the Ticket and Transportation Center. Hey, it's the Ticket and Transportation Center. Also on the lower left is the Ferry Boat Q Building. Here's the TTC a little bit further along in construction. And now we're back to clearing out more property. In this shot, the TTC is still taking shape and the contemporary is way off in the distance. Raz Island, as it was originally known, or Treasure Island at the time, is in the upper right corner. There are a lot of palm trees that have been planted as well, so this one's probably closer to opening. Here's another early shot of the TTC. Not a lot to go on in this shot. This one is probably pretty early in the construction phase. This one looks like land and islands are being formed. Could this be part of the Seven Seas Lagoon? Here's an overhead of Bay Lake with Raz Island or Treasure Island or eventually Discovery Island with the contemporary being constructed on the left side of the photo. Wondering if this is part of Bay Lake. It looks like that's a flood control gate. And here's actually a closer image of that same gate. Is this part of the property bounded by Interstate 4, I-4, or is this World Drive? It looks like they're getting ready to relocate a tree. Is this another image of I-4? Here's an early shot of the TTC.
More TTC with the monorail beams. Still no ferry dock in this image. Inside one of the maintenance buildings could be storage. And this is probably the outside of the building we just saw. Here's another shot. Anyone know if this building is still on property? And another photo. Someone must have really liked this building a lot. So future drainage channel or access to something? I'm not really sure. Another overhead shot of the property. This one looks like another one of the valve controls for the canals. So let's haul away more dirt and muck. Here we've got more grading and scraping. Here's an aerial shot, and it's hard to tell if the areas near the top are actually swamp or scrub. This is a fairly good view. Magic Kingdom is at the top. The big area in the middle is the parking lot and the contemporary looks like it's further along than the poly with construction. <laughs> Let's watch a dump truck. This image has so much going on that it's sorta of hard to tell where it is, but I'm pretty sure the circle at the top is a water unit for the giant HVAC system in the middle of the photo. This is probably behind the Magic Kingdom near Facilities Drive. This is one of the smaller boats and I think it becomes more obvious in the next image. So this could be the Southern Seas or the Ports of Call. An overhead image of the boat in this one. The Southern Seas and the Ports of Call were the two Osceola class side wheelers, which was a term Disney created and the ships were a little over 100 feet long and had a steam boiler uh, operating at what's called a gallows A-frame walking beam engine. And it's sort of what is modeled after the type that would be found on steamers uh, circa the 1900s. Both these boats were built in 1969 and the Ports of Call was in service until 1982 and scrapped in 1984. The Southern Seas was in service until 1975 and was scrapped in 77. And this final image, we've just got a bunch of construction vehicles lined up and ready to go. I'm assuming this is one of the earliest shots. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video with some strange, interesting, and rare photographs of the construction of Walt Disney World from 1970 and 1971, and potentially a bit earlier. I'd love to know your thoughts. Can you identify any of the pictures? Do you know where they're located? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to know what you think. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and I hope to see you in the parks.